Please welcome to the stage the mayor of the energy capital of America, Oklahoma City Mayor Mick Corn. Hey, good morning. It, it, it is good to be with you in rain-soaked Oklahoma City. That's right. Well, at least yesterday was nice. How many of you are, uh, like, from around here? Raise your hand if you're from Oklahoma City. Okay, well, quite a few. How many of you are not from around here and have no idea who I am? We have quite a few, apparently. Well, let me, uh, let me give you a little background on Oklahoma City so you can kind of understand us. You have probably heard the saying that Rome was not built in a day. Well, we were. No, literally, on an April day in 1889, federal government lined up the settlers and fired off a gun, and the settlers roared across the countryside and put a stake in the ground. And wherever they put that stake was their new home. The population of Oklahoma City went from zero to 10,000 in one day. Yeah. And our planning department is still paying for that. <laughs> you can imagine the chaos at the land claims office at the end of that day. But the citizens got together and they elected a mayor. And then they shot him. <laughs> uh, see, I never really thought that was that funny. But... <laughs> But I, I can see now what type of audience I'm dealing with, so thank you for the feedback. The, the city grew pretty well during the, the 20th century, but we had an economy that was based on the price of commodities. Early on, it was the price of cotton, later the price of wheat, and ultimately the price of oil and natural gas. And when you have an economy that's based on the price of a commodity, your economy goes with that price. And so Oklahoma City and the state of Oklahoma's history has seen these booms and bust cycles. But it does appear that uh, the state and the city are doing much, much better now at, at going through the slowdowns in the economy. We seem to have diversified our economy through a lot of, of really special efforts. Um, a very special thing happened in Oklahoma City in 1939 and 1940 and that was the, the leaders of Oklahoma City pursuing what is now Tinker Air Force Base. Uh, yes, go ahead and applaud. It is, uh, it, it is um, a, a major installation of, uh, of the United States Air Force and Navy, um, and it is our largest employer in central Oklahoma. About 40,000 people, public and private sector, have their jobs associated with Tinker in some way or manner. And as you know, this is Memorial Day weekend, and being a very patriotic community, a very important weekend in the state of Oklahoma. Um, just last night, I had the good fortune of, of being able to be with 40 young men and women, most of which are just graduating from high school, either this week or last week, and they are getting ready to head to boot camp. And it, uh, boy. And, and, you know, sometimes when you get a lump in your throat and you weren't expecting it, uh, that's, that's what happened to me last night, to see these young men and women making this important decision in their lives. And, of course, we will end Memorial Day weekend remembering those who gave their lives uh, to sacrifice uh, for their country. And so um, you have entered Oklahoma City, what I think is a, is a very, very special time. Um, if you have not been to Oklahoma City in, say, 10 or 20 years, it might look a lot different. Uh, the citizens of our city have, have really stepped up and improved the quality of life in Oklahoma City. And it has been under the direction of three consecutive Republican mayors. Uh, yeah, this is... Um, of all large cities in the United States, Oklahoma City has the longest run of Republican mayors of any. Twenty-eight years of Republican mayoral leadership. And when we, when we have reached a time in this country where it is becoming more and more apparent we've got to figure out how we're going to fund the infrastructure of our nation, uh, it is interesting to note that in Oklahoma City, um, we have built infrastructure and, and amenities like uh, a new sports arena across the street, 
We have uh, refurbished and built a new 75 school buildings in the inner city. We have uh, plans to get ready to, to break ground on a new convention center, a new park, a new streetcar system. But we have done all of these parts of an initiative debt free. Yeah. And, and frankly, that's a lesson they could learn in Washington. Yeah. Well, um, I uh, want to uh, uh, depart so we can get to, to other speakers, but I, I want to let everyone know how proud we are to have this event in Oklahoma City. I understand that over 2,000 people have signed up, and if it's not a record, it's pretty darn close. So give yourself a round of applause for, for making this such a special event in Oklahoma City. Um, we have several presidential uh, contenders and challengers that have entered the race and are coming through Oklahoma City to speak to you this week. And it, uh, it, it makes me just cross my fingers that the road of the White House leads right through this building, right through this room. We're glad to have those of you from out of town. And I, I will pause and give this word. If, if those of you who are visiting need anything while you're here, you need to borrow a quarter, uh, you, need, you need directions. All you have to do is turn to one of our citizens and ask for help. And, and if they look at you funny, just said, well, the mayor said you'd help me. <laughs> Enjoy your stay, and thank you for having me out this morning. Ladies and gentlemen,